The Maya people are part of Belize's diverse ethnic makeup. They are found across the country, primarily in southern Belize, out west in Cayo, and up north in Orange Walk and Corozal. As a kid growing up, a lot of times we used to be kind of ashamed to, um, to accept that um, we are of Mayan descent. Uh, my grandfather only spoke in, Spain, in, in um, Maya, so I didn't really understand you a word or two, but that's about it. And so what um, Ms. Felcantun and her family are doing, I think, is something commendable. And I want to uh, thank also the BTB also to, to, to be able to, to come in and to give her the necessary support for us to try to revive the Maya um, culture, the Maya language, and even the Poktapok. In the village of Yo Creek, a group of Yucatec Mayans are working hand in hand with several stakeholders to keep their tangible and intangible cultural heritage alive. Today, the ancestral sport of Puck to Puck, for which Belize is a three-time consecutive international champion, took center stage at the launch of the first ever contemporary ball court in the region. We have some, but in our archaeological places. So this is the first one here. In fact, the first one ever in the whole of Mundo Maya. So um, this is it. And today you are going to witness just a demonstration of the Pocta Poc. Pocta Poc was a game played by my ancestors, the Mayas, more than 500 years ago. So this went dormant because it was prohibited. And my ancestors used to play this game to settle disputes. To so instead of going to war, they played a game. And today, you are going to witness uh, just a demonstration, not a real, real game. So um, this is a game, um, we say, between the good and the bad, between the light and darkness. The Sunun Paktapak Ball Court is nestled in the heart of the Hardin Pachamama on the Yo Creek San Lazaro Road in Orange Walk District. Today's launch is part of a bigger tourism development plan for the area. With the intention to grow this area for tourism in the aspect of what, we, what is termed as the Holpatin Trail, the Holpatin Corridor that begins from Orange Walk Town, leading by road right up to, to Lamanai. You know? Um, what better way to start that out than by commemorating in, 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 a, in a very significant and physical way our champions. You know, we, we know that, the, that Belize, in, in one, of the, one of the events that, that we have become world champions is Poktapok. So the idea of this court is for it to, to be used for, for local, for regional and hopefully for an international competition as well. You know, our Mayas used to actually live in the jungle, right? They had definitely their, their sites which were very more for religious purposes, but they used to live in this setting. And this is the cultural experience we would want to, to offer to locals, first of all, to appreciate and, and to engulf into it, but also so much so for our international tourists. BTV's Director of Industry Development, Hosra Carbayo, gives insight on the authentic cultural experiences that domestic and international tourists can engage in along the Halpatin Corridor. An inventory of things to do here, no? starting from, from well, there's still talks of the Cuello site, which is the oldest site in, 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 the, in, the, in the Mayan world, actually. Um, coming from here in Yo Creek, very, very traditional, very mestizo Maya in, in their cultures and their ways. And then going forward, uh, there, there's a mini museum as well in San Lazaro. Um, there's another medicinal herbal, herbal um, center in Agaspan Ridge, honey making in Trinidad. And, and the list goes on of, of things that can happen, but it's about taking it one step at a time and putting that package together, which both or two operators can buy into so they can drive traffic and then eventually the increase of maybe hotels, accommodations in the region. Dwayne Moody for News 5.